When I reviewed these Obspot Tail Air PTZ cameras recently, I showed all the various ways that they can be used in different setups and for different purposes. Now, there's lots of features packed into these cameras and they can be used for live streaming and straightforward multi-camera setup for recording direct to SD card on here. But I wanted to use these in various fixed positions in my workshop and studio so making my review and tutorial videos was easier so I don't have to fiddle about with setting up static cameras each time. So I'll show you how I set up my multicam environment using the Offspot tail airs and these NDI adapters and NDI tools. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Black channel. As well as having an SD card slot for direct recording, these tail airs have got a mini HDMI connector and a USB-C connector. Now, if you just want a video feed, you can simply connect them to something like your ATEM mini video switcher using regular HDMI cables. But I want to be able to control the pan, tilt and zoom as well. Fortunately, these are NDI capable cameras and using this Obspot USB-C to Ethernet adapter, it means you can have a video feed and full camera control using your local network. Now, Network Device Interface or NDI is just simply a protocol developed by NewTek that allows the transmission of video, audio and metadata over standard Ethernet networks in real time with minimal latency. It's designed for efficiency, allowing multiple video streams to be sent over existing LANs without needing dedicated cabling. And it supports high resolution video and audio, ensuring professional grade quality. And it simplifies setup through automatic device discovery and communication. And it's widely used in live video production, broadcasting, streaming, video conferencing, and remote production because it's scalable and flexible. Now, this adapter also allows you to power the tail airs using power over Ethernet, PoE. That means the setup in a multicam environment is as simple as plugging these into your nearest network switch using this NDI adapter. And NDI works fine on standard one gig networks without any issues, just like you've got in your studio like this. But before we start getting everything wired up, we need to enable NDI on each of these tail airs. Now, NDI requires a license which you buy from Obspot. It's a code, essentially a license code. So I've got the tail air turned on and I've got the Obspot app running. There we go, and that's working, fantastic. If you go to the setup three dots in the bottom left hand corner, scroll down the list you'll find there's an ndi option now mine says activated because i've already activated this particular tail air but what you do is hit that type in your code that's all you need to do and you have to do that for each camera that you want ndi to work on now to use ndi on a computer we need to install ndi tools it's basically a free suite of applications from Utech designed to use NDI in video production and streaming environments. So to install NDI tools, just go to ndi.video and go to the tools and you'll see here there's a download option. You go for Windows or Mac, works fine in both. I'm using a Mac here. Download that and install it. So tail air is on. I've enabled the NDI or activated the NDI on there. Just plug that USB-C into the back. And then I've got this network cable that's plugged into my switch under the bench. You can see it's ticking away, there's something going on. Now we've got everything all wired up and it's working. Go and launch the NDI launcher. And you can see the various tools that we've got in here. There's virtual input, there's a monitor, scan converter, and various plugins for things like Final Cut Pro, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and so on. So if we launch the video monitor, this is a good place to start. And now go up to NDI. It has already discovered my tailor. And you will get one of these 
options up here for every NDI device that is on your network and turned on. So let's connect that up and should be able to look at that. So we know that that's working fine on there. Now if you go up to settings and go to device web page, this gives us control, PTZ control over the camera. So I can move this around, up and down and so on. And I can pre-program set positions like this, all looking good and take a photo and so on. And importantly, I can record. So you'll get one of these little mini web pages for each tail air that you've got on your network. So that gives you complete control over the pan, tilt and zoom, as well as things like a monitor. Let's bring that back over here so you can see me. How if I've got it in the right place, there we go, we're fiddling about. Fantastic. So now I'm ready to start wiring these up in my workshop in the fixed positions that I need them. Now I've standardised on Manfrotto clamps for all my video gear, tripods and mounts. So I fixed a tripod plate to the bottom of the tail air, and this clips very nicely onto my ceiling camera mount. Although it's upside down, it's not really an issue. Now, all it needs doing is to connect the USB-C to Ethernet adapter to the camera and then route the network cable down to the switch under the desk. And this will also power the tail air using PoE. Yeah, I'll need to do a bit of cable management later when I know that everything works. The second tail air is on a small tripod on the other side of the workshop where I do most of my power hub reviews and testing. Again, this is simply connected up to the network using the NDI adapter and routing the network cable to a network switch at the back. Wiring these is just so easy because there's only one cable, the ethernet cable. This is the workflow I've settled on at the moment and this may change in the future depending on whether I decide to do any live streaming. At the moment I'm recording direct to SD card in each camera and using the NDI tools monitor and PTZ web page so I can see the camera feed and control the pan, tilt and zoom all from my laptop. Now you can use NDI over Wi-Fi but to be honest, I've never found this to be that reliable and I prefer to use a wired network. So there we have it. This was very easy to set up and now I can just sit down, turn on the lights and start recording a tutorial or product review video without having to mess about with any cabling or cameras. And these Obspot tail airs connected together using NDI are perfect for a studio or a workshop like this. You get lots of choice of pre-programmed shots, object tracking, and 4K 30 FPS video. Fantastic. And do let me know your thoughts on these in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you can follow me there as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.